have a weird thing to make this morning. <laughs> I was scanning through the Pinterest, as I usually do, and I saw this recipe for pickle waffles and thought, I need to make those because I love pickles and I love waffles and I'm gonna and I love cheese. So I'm gonna do it. I don't know what it's gonna taste like, but it's got pickles and cheese. How bad can it be? <laughs> Good morning, Sarah. All right, so and I'm also gonna make a Dalgona, I always pronounce it wrong, Dalgana, Dalgona coffee this morning. Um, I've been wanting one, I haven't had one lately, and the one I found has chocolate and brown sugar, and it's totally off plan, so I'm gonna on plan it. Pickle waffles and chocolate coffee. <laughs> Sounds like a pregnant lady's dream. I ain't pregnant. I ain't pregnant. So, all right, you guys, I am going to heat up my waffle maker right off. Do you like them, Donna? I'm not sure. I kind of liked them, and then my dad made a comment, Dad, that they're too big for my face. So I'm not sure. <laughs> but the bifocals, I will say I like. I can see better. I'm getting a little used to them. I like them, but I don't know. I can't decide. Yes, it is, Sarah. I've made the regular kind, but I've never made the chocolate um, brown sugar kind, and it sounds really good. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it. I woke up. If you'll notice, I'm just gonna call it out since it's screaming at the camera. I woke up with a huge, gigantic fat blister on my lip. So it's you know, it's talking to you, not so much me. It's my blister on my lip. I started taking a vitamin D supplement and then found out this morning that, oh, you shouldn't do that if you're prone to cold sores. It can cause them to be worse. Okay, good. I'm glad you guys like them. That makes me feel better. Dad. <laughs> Thanks. I do like the color and I love the little kind of retro polka dotty thing. He said I look like a school teacher with my glasses and my hair up. Like, well, there's nothing wrong with being a school teacher, so I'm rocking it. <laughs> Although I would suck at it. I'm glad I'm not a school teacher. All right, I'm heating up my waffle maker. Let's get some spray out. So if you're making trimfuls, um, you use Parmesan cheese to help them not stick to your Waffle maker, my little, let me show you my little waffle maker, my little dash, my little EB waffle maker. I'm so stinking cute. And it matches. Um, <laughs> thanks, Joyce. Um, you put, you don't spray your waffle maker when you're making trimfuls. You put Parmesan cheese down, but guess what I'm all out of? I was at Sam's Club Sunday and they had a gigantic container of uh, Parmesan cheese. And I said, oh, I need that. But the container was like this big. And I said, I, I don't have room in my fridge for a container that big. So I'm not going to buy it. I'll get it at the grocery store instead. But I didn't write it on my list. And therefore, I did not get, I did not get it. So this is going to be three ingredients. It's gonna be, I feel like it's wicked dirty. I can like, hold on. <laughs> there we go. That's better. Wow, now you can really see them. <laughs> That's right, Cindy. <laughs> Can you have Parmesan cheese to my grocery list? <laughs> Is my light off? My light's gone. All right, <clears throat> let me get a measuring cup so I can use about the right amount. This is a quarter cup. First one I grabbed was a third, so I'm gonna use a third a cup. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> my phone probably was talking to my mom before I got on this call. Whoops, I didn't chop my pickles yet. Slow your roll, KJ. I didn't 
I didn't chop my pickles. I'm about to pour my egg white in there. All I'm gonna do is chop up some pickles and put it in my waffle. That's it, just because it sounds really good. I have not found recipes that incorporate pickles that I don't like. And you have to have cloths and pickles to make this recipe. It's a requirement. <laughs> it's really not a requirement. You can do what you want. If you're sad, if you're a sad, sad person, you can go ahead and use just regular old pickles. But if you want to make the best bomb diggity food that has pickles, then go buy Clawson. If But if you're, you know, okay being mediocre, you stick with your plain old pickles. <laughs> I am a Clawson junkie. To me, there is, there is no recipe like there's no recipe like floss and pickles all right what is the name of this recipe i don't know pickle waffles carrie i'm winging it i'm winging it this morning i'm gonna put half of my egg white in there put some cheese on top i don't know if this is gonna work oh oh i just got dizzy bifocal dizzy there for a minute and then I'm going to layer pickles on it. It was kind of, this recipe I found just used mozzarella cheese and pickles and nothing else. But I want some egg white in there. Let's see, Let's see if I got it too full. I don't know. Maybe I need a little more cheese. Maybe I should put a little cheese on top. Ain't going to hurt nothing. <laughs> pickles for breakfast? Yeah, girl. I eat pickles and, and they're going to go great with coffee. I will eat pickles any time of the day that you give them to me. I have a feeling that if I really took the time, I could improve on this pickle recipe. If these bifocals, if I turn my head like this, back and forth, it makes my cutting board do this. It makes it makes cooking a lot more fun. The whole cutting board is dancing. <laughs> my head. I, I, they're very different. Every time I turn my head, I feel like I'm inside a glass sphere and like the world is it's a little bit psychedelic. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> Who knew bifocals were going to be tripping? <laughs> Who knew? All right. Let's work on our coffee. This recipe I found is absolutely not on plan, so I'm totally changing it. Mindy, my takeaways from my fuel cycle. I need to eat less heavy S like I'm eating this morning. I need to eat, um, <laughs> I won't get seasick, don't worry. I hope my brain will adjust on, holy moly. Um, I need to eat more deep S. I had deep S for supper last night. I need to eat more fuel pull lunches and snacks. That fuel pull are not as terrifying as I thought. I never ate fuel pull snacks. I mean, it was a rare occurrence. Maybe a shake here and there, but I just didn't do a lot of fuel pull. I learned that I probably should do more fuel pull. They're not nearly as intimidating as I thought they were. It is a whole new world, Donna. <laughs> It's, it's a whole new world. It's, it's, are things really shaped like this? Or <laughs> I have a feeling work's going to be interesting today. I'm going to be doing this all day long in my computer. <laughs> my neck will be sore by the end of the day. Because I, I don't know. That there, I can certainly read better. And I don't have to look at my phone. My phone, get, my head gets sore. My neck gets sore from looking at my phone, which might say some things about me. But I, from doing this or doing this. But last night I read it and it was perfect, just like this. So I guess it's a good thing. There is egg juice running all over my counter. So, oh, I just used canned egg whites. So that's not egg juice. That's legit egg white all over my. One of these days I'll learn to put it on parchment like you guys tell me to do. Why not? Do it the hard way, KJ. Let it go everywhere. I don't know. Oh, that's crisp enough, you guys. 
Yeah, Tracy, I do I do my fair share of heavy S's. But it's okay. I tend to um I tend to do okay on them. I've lost weight on them. I, maybe I have maybe I would lose um maybe I would lose more weight if I did less heavy S, but I'm still losing weight doing heavy S. I'm losing weight slowly. And you know what? As long as I'm losing weight, even if it's slow, I'm okay with that. If that means I get to eat cheese and sour cream and heavy S's. As long as I'm still losing weight, I'm okay with that. I don't, I, I like the deep S, but if I feel like I need cheese and junk, like I kind of feel like this morning, I'm going to do it and, and still lose weight. And if it's slow, it's okay. It's okay. Slow weight, slow weight loss stays off better anyway. So, all right, let me get a container to zing this up in. I think I've got the perfect container for it. And of course I don't. It's dirty. I got to find the right container for zinging. This one will work because it's tall and skinny and has stuff stuck on it from the dishwasher. Sounds like the perfect dish to me. You added heavy cream to your chaffle. Yeah, I'd, I don't even, I haven't even made the actual chaffles. Like, I don't know what the recipes have. I've only made the trimfuls, which this is more like a trimful. Look at all that stuff stuck from the dishwasher. Whatever. It ain't gonna hurt nothing. I made bread pudding yesterday for breakfast. Pretty good. I did the caramel drizzle, but also the sugar-free syrup. That's awesome, Joyce. That I, I love the bread pudding. My friend Kathy, oh my gosh, that's getting crispy and delicious. Um, I made the bread pudding once, or I mean, my friend Kathy made the bread pudding once and brought me some, and it was delicious. So, uh, I need two tablespoons. I'm gonna get my hot water. You need very hot water to make your Dalgona. Dolgano, Dolgona, whatever it is. So I need two tablespoons of instant coffee. It has to be instant to make this, to make the whippy whip. And then two tablespoons of brown sugar. So I'm gonna use, um, you know what? I'm gonna use soup, uh, gentle sweet because I feel like two tablespoons of super sweet is gonna be not pretty. So I'm gonna use two tablespoons of gentle sweet. I wrote down two tablespoons of super sweet because the recipe I saw called for two tablespoons of brown sugar, but that's not, I'm not gonna want two tablespoons of super sweet. I like sweet, but I don't, you know, like crazy. All right, maybe I should take that waffle out of there at this point. And I'm gonna put a little drizzle like this much not even that much, just a little bit <laughs> of molasses, tiny little bit. I'm using black strap, which is the recommended one on plan. Just a tiny little bit. I could mix it all in with my brown, my, my sweetener and make like a brown sugar, but I'm going to be zinging it up. So I don't need to. All right. And then a tablespoon spoon of cocoa. It talks about stirring the cocoa in near the end, but I'm not going to, I'm going to ignore that because cocoa stirs in so hard that I'm going to totally ignore it. And then four tablespoons of hot water. I'm going to use an actual And I know it needs to be very hot, so that's why I took it out of my Keurig. All right, let's see if this is enough. Let me take my chaffle out of there. Boy, multitask, multitask. <gasps> Look at that thing! Look how crispy good... Look how crispy good that looks. <gasps> yes, Sarah, I think it is. I think it is. You'd want to, oh, that's yummy. I think you'd want to look at the 
back to make sure it only contains like erythritol, stevia. All right, I'm putting some egg white, a bunch of cheese. This time I'm gonna put lots of pickles in there because it's, and then some more cheese. Oh, happy day, this looks good. Maybe a little more egg white. You know, why not? Why not let it spill all over my counter? Who cares? My counter's filthy at this point anyway. What difference does it make? Might as well do her up. And I, I just flung cheese all over my counter. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I forgot what it was doing. <laughs> Thank you, Bonnie. All right. So once you put your stuff in your cup, you can do this with a hand mixer if you have the time. But this thing works super good. Look at this. See how it's getting fluffy and foamy? It looks really dark because of that cocoa and it makes scares me a little makes you think it's gonna be really strong coffee but it's not because that cocoa is just making it really dark my somebody mentioned my jar this jar is from Hobby Lobby my friend Kathy who's always bringing me food, brought me something in it, soup or something, and I told her I wasn't giving it back. <laughs> I said, I'm keeping it. <laughs> Where did you get it? She said, Hobby Lobby. I said, well, thanks, because it's mine now. Because <laughs> I absolutely love it. All right, that's about as whippy as we're gonna get. You can get whippier if you leave the other ingredients out of it. If you just do instant coffee, and hot water, it will get big and foamy, but this is good enough. And then, where's my pretty clear cup? Because that would make this, where is it? I gotta find my pretty clear cup. Hold on, I know where it is. My daughter was drinking out of it last night. Should have had that ready. All right, this cup will be perfect for dog gana, dog gana, dog whatever. Dolgana, Dalgona. I get it wrong. Maybe they should just call it Dolgona. That's good. <laughs> oh, the gentle sweet jar. That is from Marshalls. From Marshalls. Like TJ Maxx. Similar idea. Home goods. All the same type of, I can get my cover off, my milk jar, these covers are wicked hard to get off, all right, so then you just, you could do a splash of cream if you want, but I don't want, so fill it up with almond milk, that's my homemade almond milk, so it's twice as yummy, my whip didn't whip very good, it didn't whip at all, it all just deflated, what the? Is it because I put the cocoa in there and they told me not to? Where's my whipper? Is that why? Should I have actually listened to the instruction? Oh my, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a little tiny bit of cream in there and that'll take care of the problem. I'm going to put just a little tiny splash of cream. Oh, crying out loud. There goes the cover. Now i got to wash that. I wonder if I... If this will help. I don't know. All right. Every time I make this, it comes out perfect. Not this time. No, nope. no, nope. of course not, because I'm on video. So this time it's not whipping at all. I'm starting over. I'm starting over. Yep. Let's try this again. Let's, where did I put my coffee? Right here. Maybe you should mix the cocoa in with the milk. Maybe I should. Chocolate milk. Maybe I should. All right, two tablespoons of coffee.
Maybe I should leave. I know what I'm going to do. I think you're right. I'm going to put the cocoa and the sweetener and the brown sugar in my milk. I think you are right. I'm going to put cocoa. This time I'm going to use super sweet, but I'm only going to use a heaping teaspoon. Oh my gosh, my counter. And a little bit of molasses in there. Let's try it this way. See what happens. I'll zing this up. Get in there, go ahead. I've already dirtied at half the dishes. <laughs> I hope so, Joyce. All right, let's mix this in. It's not gonna be as pretty this way as my white coffee with my dark, I mean my white milk with my dark coffee. Check my chocolate. All right. Oh my gosh, I got molasses stuck to my zinger. This was gonna be a quick breakfast this morning. I'm wiping it down so it will be pretty. I want it to be pretty. All right, now four tablespoons of hot water. This better whip. all through that. I hope that comes out. It's like really stuff. All right. Focus, KJ. Okay, apparently it was all the other ingredients because look at it. It's getting whippy. I hope it stays whippy. Now it's gonna be ugly. I'm not happy about it. Didn't come out nearly as pretty as it's come out in the past. Dang it! Oh well. When I made it just for myself, it came out gorgeous. Naturally. Alright, so I'm gonna take a screenshot. Ready? So I'm gonna take a screenshot. <laughs> Alright, I'm assuming somebody got one. You do add your sweetener to the whip. It didn't, it's still cooking. It's it's beautiful. My chaffle is coming beautifully. I, I don't want to take it out until it's really crispy. All right. So then you just mix it in gently. Seems like a lot of effort for a cup of coffee, but if you only do it once, it's not that much work. <laughs> and it takes about, you know, 62. I think I got one, two, three, four, five, six spoons, two steak knives, and a fork to make my whip deflated bad. Oh well, fail. Let's see what it tastes like. Wait, aren't I supposed to heat up my milk? Was I supposed to heat up my milk? Isn't this usually hot when I drink it? What did I do wrong? It's horrible. What did I do wrong? I totally screwed it up. I need a mug, Sarah, that says his mercies are new because You did, Tracy, and I missed it. I'm supposed to heat up my milk. I got a cup of cold, bitter coffee. <sighs> you know what? Oh, we're gonna call it a latte. 
And another glass. Why not? That's still gross. Ugh. I'll drink it. I'm gonna. <laughs> Ooh, baby. That's a little bit better. Don't make that. Don't waste your time. Just fast forward past that whole section because did I not spray my waffle maker? Because my other one came out super easy. Now this one's stuck. Let me unplug it. my waffle maker she is no more <laughs> where's my towel I'm throwing it in that's it that's it I'm throwing it in I'm having a Cadbury egg and my Reese's peanut butter on plan cup for breakfast with a cup of coffee there is my dash waffle maker so, anybody know if those are on sale on Amazon today? <sighs> My waffle landed inside the cover. Does that mean I can still eat it? <laughs> it landed right like that. So do I get to eat my waffle? <sighs> I mean, it didn't hit the floor. Who would you eat it? <laughs> it landed just like this. I'm eating it because whatever. <laughs> I didn't eat it off the floor, I promise you. I eat food off my floor. I got dog hair everywhere. Who land in the cover? Oh. Is this how today's gonna go? That's good. I'll say that. Son of a biscuit. All right, well, it looks delicious. Yeah, it's hot. It's crispy. There's some crumbs on the floor over here, Bass. You want some? You go right ahead and lick the grease off the floor. I gotta scrub it anyway now. All right, I'm happy with that, even though, you know, this whole thing was a hot mess. And I'm gonna put some garlic hot sauce on it, because I can. And at this point, it can't get any worse. These are really good. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. These are good. Okay, these I'll make again once I have another dash waffle maker. Apparently, I need to go buy one. Different colors have different prices. The red comes in multiple pieces. If you didn't know. Anybody got an affiliate link for that? <laughs> mm. Lick that stuff off the floor so I don't have to clean it, dog. This was going to be a super easy two minute breakfast. I broke an appliance. I've all over my shirt. My kitchen. 
I have coffee, molasses, cheese, almond milk, spray, a jar of pickles, egg whites, heavy cream, three covers, a, a spare waffle, molasses cover, 16 spoons, and three measuring cups. And now I got hot sauce on my white shirt. Well, that just added to the excitement. Whatever. All right. I'm over it at this point. <laughs> All right. You should probably make pickle waffles because they're really good. Skip the brown sugar chocolate Dalgona, Dalgano, Dalgona, whatever it is. Skip it. No oh, good. Thank you, Don. <laughs> but my glasses look great. <laughs> Did you hear that, Dad? My glasses look great. <laughs> my poor dad. I'm picking on my poor dad. <laughs> my dad has a swollen lip right now. Looks like somebody punched him in the mouth because he cut his lip on a sandwich. guys I have a mess to clean up and I have to make a cup of coffee because I don't think no you're right Diane did I die no that is gross that is gross <coughs> sometimes you waste ingredients it's okay it happens once in a while I don't do it that often my dish my sink was literally empty and now it is completely full Nope, I didn't die. I don't have baby wipes. My baby's 13, <laughs> Carmen. <laughs> All right, I have to clean up my kitchen and apparently find something to drink. You know what? I have Mama Dew. I have a two liter bottle of Mama Dew in the fridge and I'm gonna drink it. Hi, Noah. Good morning. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna eat my other waffle, but I have to take, I have to take an impressive picture first of my waffle, you know, with lighting and all that for the background of the YouTube video. So yeah, I put sweetener in it, Dawn. It's just horrible. Yeah, that's right. I didn't die, but my waffle maker did. <laughs> You guys haven't had Mama Do. Somebody on here shared it with me. It legit tastes like Mountain Dew, you guys. All right. So go look up Mama Do. Just Google T H M Mama Do, and you will get a recipe for it. And I will make it live when my bottle is gone. As soon as my bottle is gone, I'll make it live because it is thebomb.com. Order yourself some liquid stevia. If you don't have it, you need it, and you need lime juice. So get it. So, okay. I'm gonna go have a um, memorial service for my dash, which ironically looks as though it was about to catch on fire underneath. Look at the plastic underneath my dash waffle maker. It's all melted. That's a little concerning. It's all melted underneath where the wire's hooked in. That looks like a fire hazard about to happen. I don't know if you can see that, but look, right here, it's all melted where the wires went in. So maybe that was the Lord intervening on my behalf <laughs> and knocking my waffle maker off the counter saying, fire hazard, <clears throat> hand to the Lord. Who knows? You never do. All right, guys. I love you all. I really do. If you don't subscribe to my YouTube, please go do it. Don't make me beg. I'm just eating pickles right straight out of the raw egg white. That's just how my day is going. When I put that in my mouth the first bite, I didn't realize it was sitting in raw egg white. But whatever. <laughs> all right. 
Have a beautiful Tuesday. Go subscribe to my YouTube page. Please share my channel. Um, and then I have a link at the top of this page for all my affiliate links. There's an affiliate link for the Trim Healthy Mama page. There's an affiliate link for all my favorite kitchen gadgets, including my Dash Waffle Maker <laughs> that I love dearly. <laughs> you should get one, just like it. <laughs> but if you click on that, there's lots of fun links on there. There's a few different recipes and I'm working on building a Pinterest page with all my favorite recipes that I will link from there as well. So, oh Rhonda. <laughs> She says, I want to know what happened. What happened? I just got here. Well, I had an issue with my waffle. Uh, yeah. My waffle maker is no more. She's dead. Dora the Dash has died. So, but I made an awesome pickle waffle. <laughs> All right, guys, I love you. Have a blessed day. Um, holler if you need to be talked off the ledge. Someone will do it. Someone will talk you off the ledge, I can guarantee it. Don't go off plan today. Listen, if I can just go through the breakfast event that I just went through, I think y'all can stay on plan. Let's face it. I think you can deal. <laughs> you stay on plan. Nothing should make you go off plan at this point. <laughs> Have a great day, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.